Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher. This is question 22 from the Cayley contest, which is a grade 10 math contest from Waterloo University. Give it a try and I'll be right back with the solution. All right, so in this question, we have a three by three grid. And it says that if you were to find the average for any row or any column or diagonal, they will all be the same. Now, since each row, column and diagonal have three integers, not only would the average be the same, but the sum would also be the same. So let's look at this first column here. Let's say we have 64 plus 70 plus some integer, let's say n. So if we were to find the total in that column, we would get 64 plus 70, which is 134, and then we would have plus n. All right, so that's our total for this column, and it would be the same for every other column and row. So now let's look at the first row here. In the first row, if we wanted to figure out what this last cell is, or this last entry, all we'd have to do is take the total and subtract the other two cells. So the total is 134 plus n, and then we subtract 64, and we subtract 10. And that's gonna leave us with 60, plus n, which we'll write in here, 60 plus n. Next, let's look at this diagonal here. The total would still be 134 plus n. So if we wanted to figure out what this center cell is, we would simply take the total and subtract the other two cells. So we have 134 plus n minus, over here, n minus this one, which is 60 plus n, which will reduce to 74 minus n. So let's write that into this cell. All right, we only have two more cells to fill in. So this one here would be the total, 134 plus n. And we're going to be looking at this row. So let's subtract 70 and 74 minus n, which reduces to 2n minus 10. So we'll write that in right here. Next, this last cell here. So to figure out this cell here, let's look at this diagonal. So we're going to take the total and subtract the other two cells in the diagonal. So we have 134 plus n minus 64 and minus 74 minus n, which will reduce to 2n minus 4. So let's write that in here. Finally, let's try to figure out what x is. So if we use this third row, we can say x is the total minus the other two cells. So we have 134 plus n minus n minus 2n minus 4, which reduces to 138 minus 2n. So let's write that in right here. So before we can actually solve for x then, we need to solve for n. So let's look at this third column. We know that all of these cells will add to 134 plus n. That gives us an equation with n that we can solve for. So now that we know that n equals 22, we can solve for x, where x was 138 minus 2n, where n is 22, which gives us 138 minus 44, 
which is 94. So our answer is E.